This video is designed to help you as the end user navigate through the system, some of the features of the system. Uh, however, we are not directly affiliated with the manufacturer of the system or any other manufacturers that may use a system that's similar to what we're going to be looking at today. So today we're going to look at how to back up video from your NVR to a flash drive or to a USB drive on a system running the NVR 2.0 graphic user interface uh, you typically would see this on the Dawa systems uh, some of the ENS systems the LTS systems as well as some of the Lorex camera systems may use an interface similar to what we're going to be looking at today so the first thing you're going to do is want to log into your system typically you would see cameras in these boxes here uh, we don't have any showing on the display right now but they are there on the first page but you just log into your system you would right click click on main menu and from there it would ask you for the password so this system is already logged into it's not going to ask us for the password so once you put your password in is if it doesn't bring you to this main menu you just right click go main menu and then this is uh, you know what would be pulled up so this is the 2.0 interface when you're here the first thing we're going to be looking at or really the only thing today we're going to be looking at is just this backup option here so if you go down you click the backup one thing to take note of is here in the device name tab we already have a device here if you don't see anything here or if this is grayed out then you probably don't have a usb drive plugged into uh, the front of the nvr and in that case of course you would want to take your usb drive and connect it directly to the nvr and once that's done this here should populate this field here as well as this storage uh, space here so if I, if, if I go here right next to storage, if we click browse, you can actually select, you know, where do we want uh, the recorded files to be saved to on that drive. So this is a glimpse of the actual USB drive here. So I'm just going to click back. Uh, you could format the drive if it's a brand new drive or if it's a drive that uh, has files already on the drive but you don't want to keep any of those files you can go to format you could format the drive basically bring it back to a new state with nothing there um, and then once it's formatted if you choose to format it you don't have to uh, you would then click you know where do, where do you want that video to be stored on the drive so we'd go back to browse you would select the folder uh, I'm not going to select any folder we're just going to say hey store it on the first folder that opens when you open the drive that's what this backslash is here uh, for so we're not going to select any any folder um, from there you're going to look at the type you know what type of video are you trying to search for first off um, do you want to search for an alarm, a motion, a mo motion and alarm, general, intelligent, so on and so on. And then what stream are you wanting to search for? Um, typically, this is going to stay mainstream. And I would suggest, you know, you keep the type as all if, if you're just, you know, looking for a couple of clips. Um, the next thing is going to be start time and end time. So on the start time, you can see we have our date here. You select your date. Uh, you select the time of day that you want this window to look into um, a, a little more on this basically what it is is I mean and it's pretty you know self-explanatory but what it is is we're going to be searching uh, from a point A to a point B so the start time will be the point A the end time will be point B so we're going to say 726 from 12 a.m. all the way until 726 at 239 p.m. So from there, we can click search. The other thing uh, we should take a look at, I, I skipped over here, is our record channel. So if, if we're looking at our record channel, this is gonna tell us you know, what, which camera are we wanting to pull video for. It's easy if you're looking only, you know, at one particular camera because you can go D1, D2, or you know, whichever camera you're looking at. Um, but if you're looking at multiple cameras, you want three or four cameras selected, then you may have to select all. The only thing is, you're going to want this window to be much tighter, a much smaller window, because it's going to pull all the video from all of the channels that you have recording and it just takes a while to do that sometimes so I'm gonna go back we're gonna put it on D1 for right now 
and then we'll leave our window size from 12 a.m. to 2.39 p.m. But you could, of course, change this. If you click here, you can put in, you know, the exact time. And if you click here, uh, you can put in the exact date that you're looking for. Uh, file format. Uh, it's going to be our last option here. MP4 is pretty standard. Just about any playback device will play uh, an MP4 file. However, uh, let me give my mouse back. The D uh, DAV file um, actually has a little more technology integrated into it to where if you had the actual player, not just a regular, you know, Windows Media Player or iTunes Player, but if you had the actual player for your NVR system, then not only does it save the video file, but you could also go in and tweak, you know, brightness, contrast, things of that nature. Um, but, you know, let's say you wanted to give this flash drive to the police, they're probably not going to have a system that'll play that file format. Um, so I, I usually just try to stick with the MP4 file. All of the uh, features of the camera are pretty much set as they should be. So, you know, that's the file to stick with. From there, we'll go ahead and click search. It's going to think about it. It's going to populate all of the video that was recorded in between that time frame. And if you notice by default, everything is checked. Of course, you know, you probably don't want to export everything to your USB drive. So you just uncheck here. And then from here, you could click the play button and it'll show you a clip of what that recorded scene is just in case, uh, you know, you got multiple clips you want to save, but you want to be able to preview those clips first. So you can go through and preview each clip. You select on the left side, right in each check checkbox you know which videos you want to send to the drive and then from there in the very bottom right hand corner we're just going to click back up so right now um, it's telling us that we need 78 megabytes of space is needed as you can see it's working through sending those clips over uh, to the USB uh, thumb drive and it's looking like we have about 30 seconds maybe it's going to go a little bit faster let's see it may take a little bit of time but it's it, right now it's doing what we're asking it to do so it's taking the video files it's compressing the video files and it's sending it over to the thumb drive now once this is done you can take that thumb drive out and you can go plug it into a computer or you can set it you know in a safe place you know by default these recorders they will record over existing video you know as time goes on so let's say yeah, there's a video that you want to keep. You don't necessarily need to give it to anyone, but you just want to keep and save it and store it away for later so that the NVR by default doesn't record over. Um, and this works in that case as well. Uh, from there, we're pretty much done. I mean, the, the only thing uh, left would be, like I say, just to remove the thumb drive, you know, put it in a safe place and uh, close everything out. As you can see, our recordings are right here. They're labeled labeled NVR uh, channel one main and then they have this string of numbers which is partially the date and some some other attributes there uh, so we can click OK and then of course anytime you're in these menus if you right click it'll take you back right click again it'll take you back to the main screen so hopefully uh, this video was helpful in guiding you through the process of backing up video to a USB thumb drive if you have any other questions though uh, definitely feel free to ask and I'll try my best uh, to help all right thanks